This is BBC World News Today. I'm Regid Ahmed. Our top stories. Taken to safety, Israel evacuates hundreds of Syria's White Helmets, civil defence volunteers and their families to Jordan after an international request. At least 14 people have been killed in a suicide bomb attack near Kabul airport just minutes after the vice president returned to the country. Gunmen have killed 11 taxi drivers after opening fire in a violent ambush in South Africa. And locked in his body for over a decade but unable to say a word will tell you the incredible story of how Martin Pistorius found a way out. Hello and welcome to World News Today. Israel has intervened to help members of the volunteer Syrian Civil Defense Force, known as the White Helmets, escape an offensive by government forces in southern Syria. Some 422 Syrian volunteer rescuers and their families were evacuated overnight. It's understood the number would have been higher, but others were hemmed in by fighters from the Islamic State group moving into the area. They were evacuated through the occupied Golan Heights and announced safe in Jordan along with their families. Britain and France and Canada requested Israel's help over concerns the volunteers might be detained by the Syrian army. Here's Mark Lowen. See you Reggie. Thank you very much, Mark. Now, let's just bring you this amazing story. Until the age of 12, Martin Pistorius had an unremarkable childhood, but then he fell ill with what's known as locked-in syndrome. For over a decade, he could see and hear everything around him, but no one knew he was conscious. Eventually, a carer spotted life in his eyes, setting him on the road to a remarkable recovery. This is his story. The remarkable story there of uh, Martin Pistorius and his experience of locked-in syndrome. Well, just enough time before we go to tell you the TV show Supergirl will become the first series to feature a transgender superhero. Here she is, activist and actor Nicole Maines, who is herself transgender, will play the role of Nia Nal in the upcoming fourth season of Supergirl. Speaking to Variety magazine, Nicole Maines said she wanted fans to take away an understanding of trans people, saying we can be anybody, we can be superheroes, because in many ways we are. And uh, let's just show you these pictures from Hawaii as well, where strong winds have been pushing the white plumes from the Kilauea volcano inland as streams of lava continue to flow into the sea. The volcano, which began erupting 11 weeks ago, has destroyed more than 700 homes so far. That's according to the Hawaii County Civil Defence, and those pictures always continue to amaze. Much more coming up.